Queensland LNP Senator Jared Rinnick joins me here in Brisbane. Bronwyn Bishop, former Speaker of the House of Representatives in our Sydney News Centre, and the great Carolee Katzenbarnas, you can hear on 6PR. She does so many things uh, in <laughs> Perth, Western Australia, joins us as well. Good evening to you all. Good evening, Gary. Good evening, Gary. Well, and I am Gary. doing a rally for freedom on this program tonight uh, because I just interviewed Graham Young from the Australian Institute for Progress. He, he's saying uh, that certain types of people are being ruled out of being able to contribute to politics. Nothing new in any of that. But apparently even community groups, if they receive a donation from a developer, uh, say a church in an offertory plate, and then the church goes and expresses a political view, technically are in breach. That's the kind of insanity. So you've got that sort of lack of trust thing going on. Then you've got the problem uh, for QUT students uh, trying to do the Generation Liberty uh, card table stand just the other day. I mean, Carolee, this whole stuff just in my mind queues up as a fight for freedom of speech. I don't care whether people agree or disagree with what you have to say. You should at least have the right to say it. What is Labor afraid of? Well, exactly. Um, look, the Queensland University of Technology, they've got a bit of a track record in being a little bit difficult with their students, as we saw with Callum Thwaites and the other three students that were sued a couple of years ago by one of the admin workers in a lab. Anyway, that was thrown out. But the, th the important thing with this is, you're quite right, what is the university afraid of? What on earth doesn't line up when you go to university to be able to learn about new personal freedom, economic freedom? You know, what are the values, personal, political and economic freedom? They're saying that it doesn't align with the Queensland University of Technology Guild's values. What doesn't align? Um, what doesn't align is the very fact that it, it's a conservative group that is wanting the right to spread its message, the same as a lot of the left-leaning activist groups do as well, and they're actually wanting to stop their, their students at University of, uh, of Queensland University of Technology from actually being exposed to other free thought. Um, I thought that was the whole point of university, to expose well, people uh, to different uh, views and allow people to do their own research and to make up their own ideas. Well, I, gee, I'd hope, I would hope ask questions. I would hope ask questions. I mean, yes. Bronwyn Bishop, this is the thing that I don't get. Why would anybody be afraid of a viewpoint different to your own? It gives you a chance to maybe learn, to grow, to disagree, move on, whatever, but to ask questions. What's the problem here? Well, because, Gary, free enterprise invented freedom. Uh, that's when the individual was able to use their talents uh, to achieve and to prosper, and it's the direct opposite yep. of collectivism. And of course, the collectivists, whether they're slave masters or whether they're uh, emperors or whether they're despots, um, they're the people who want to control your every movement and what you may think. And that's exactly what's happening on those campuses. Uh, the collective yeah. says we will not hear the view of the individual. We will not allow the individual to exercise the right of freedom. We will clamp it down. Uh, and indeed, so far as uh, the health of freedom is concerned on those campuses, I think I call an ambulance. Yeah, well, I, I mean, uh, Jared Rennick, I, I, I want to hold my face till my breath turns blue as they you know, <laughs> turn it around the other way. I mean, this is, this is wrong uh, on so many levels. And sure. as I said, sp speaking with Graham Young last half hour, the, the idea that classes of people are being excluded because people in another class don't like them from being participants, active participants in politics. There is something fundamentally adrift with Australia's freedom and trust from government is part of the problem. Yeah, look, um, there's two issues here I'd like to touch on. Number one, social media, and we seem to be corralling ourselves into either one side of the political fence or the other, and then we, yep. we divide further in, into smaller and smaller groups and we seem to become more intolerant of other people's views. And the other thing we need to remember is, is that Australia is based on liberal democracy values. And one of the fathers of liberalism was a guy called Voltaire, who made the famous, well, I think he was quoted as saying, I may not agree with what you have to say, but I'll defend your right to say it. And the um, administrators of the QUT University need to remember that. Um, and, you know, I think maybe there's a good reason that, um, you know, for me to go and talk to Dan Tan and just... Give, you know, tell him to give these uh, a reminder that these guys are funded out of the ta public taxpayers' money um, and they've got a right for all voices to be heard. Yeah, I think all voices to be heard scares some people who aren't real confident about their viewpoint. As I said, classes of people uh, who are being told that they're wrong and yet 
the whole question about other groups of people who are never being told that they're wrong. You've got this kind of clash going on in schools and on our highways and, and crime is, is rampant, Bronwyn. It's like, oh, well, you know, forgive that group because they're from this, but don't listen to that group because they're from that. This is really quite wrong. The equality that should be uh, across our laws and the equality of treatment, equal treatment under the law, is just non-existent right now. Well, Gary, it is a very, very serious issue. Uh, I mean, if, yeah. if with, with freedom of the individual being clamped down upon and the rise of collectivism, which is socialism is collectivism, where an elitist group says that they are entitled to say who may speak, who may participate, um, who is uh, regarded as an okay person. This is a fundamental challenge to what we regard as the freedom of this country. Uh, and unless we rise up and do something about it, and that's why, Gary, repealing uh, 18C is so important. Uh, that's why it was yeah. so disappointing when it, that cause was given up. Because, quite frankly, I've said often, and I'll say it again, I would like to see the whole Human Rights Commission scrapped used to be uh, Liberal Party policy once upon a time, but it sort of uh, uh, just ingrained itself there. But it, but it is not about protecting the freedom of the individual. It is about slapping down the individual and not allowing that voice to be heard. And that's exactly what's happening on those campuses. So uh, when I see that uh, one of them is going to go to the Human Rights Commission and try and do something about it, um, I think this will be a very interesting exercise because there's one rule for socialists and there's another rule for everybody else. Thank you, because I wanted you to say that, Bronwyn. I was optimistic you'd say it, because you know what? Being consistent is absolutely critical here. I said at the beginning of the show tonight, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. It's not just people outside the gate, it's people within our midst. And we have to really be strong and constant uh, on this.